do some deep work in your heart or for you to be encouraged. And one of the things that I felt as we were praying is that I want to tell you this. God has more for you. Do not settle. Don't settle for what the, the world tries to offer. That song I was just singing says, what the Lord gives, the world can't take away. And so don't settle tonight. If you're thinking about, well, I just, I want to just kind of just settle in these things because what else am I going to step into? God has so much for you. And I know for me that I've learned so much that I can trust God in his plan. I love Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It says to trust in the Lord with a part of your heart. Right? Exactly. I know this sounds so cheesy to say, but he says trust in the Lord with all your heart because he knows the things that we try to hold back are things that will stifle us, things that will get us away from focusing on what Jesus really has. He says in all your ways acknowledge him. Tonight we acknowledge that Jesus Christ is here in our midst, that he loves us, he's a plan and a purpose for each and every one of us. And it says... Think not in your own understanding. Like we're trying to figure out all the, the chaos and the craziness going on because we can't figure it out. God's still on the throne, right? Okay. I know. And that God will direct your path. You guys, you can trust Him. I've always had a hard time to trust in my life. I still deal with it big time, guys. It hurts and different things in my life. And I realize that until I really let go and open up my hands, this psalmist says, take this out of my hands. If you would have something in your life tonight, you literally need to open up your hands and say, take this out of my hands. Let that be your cry and let God set me free tonight. Amen. Amen.
I'm talking pain, I'm talking abuse, I'm talking addiction. Anybody else relate here? Like, I mean, when I was a teenager, my grandpa got thrown in jail. We found out he had been doing some awful stuff for years and years and years. There was shame, there was guilt. When I was a kid growing up, my dad, we had a, a decent house, and then my dad got in trouble. He got in trouble, he almost got thrown in jail. We lost everything. Went from having like a nice bike to like everything gets moved out and we have to get rid of all of our stuff. And, and so I just want you to know, everybody up here on this stage, you see people on stage and you think they have it together. That's not true. Like the only reason we're on this stage is because God has brought things together for our good. The only perfect person here tonight is Jesus. And so we're here tonight, not because we're perfect, we're here because he's perfect. And I want you to hear this tonight, because some of y'all I know are in a tough situation. And I want to remind you tonight that God is in this storm. I'm going to be saying that over and over and I'm saying it again, say, God is in this 